Hi everyone, Adam here. Just before we start today, I want to tell you about two groups that we are starting in the next couple of weeks. For those wanting to explore a bit more about Christian faith and for those wanting to move on and grow a little bit more in their faith as well. The first group is called Start and it will meet on Thursday nights at 7.30pm. And Start is perfect for anybody who is exploring Christianity and faith for perhaps the first time or in, is in the very early stages of wondering what this is all about. Um, it's going to be on Thursday nights, it's six sessions and it's very relaxed as we meet together and we look at some of the basic uh, ideas and beliefs that uh, Christians hold and, and think about how they apply uh, to our lives in reality. So that's on Thursdays at 7.30. We've also got another group uh, which will meet on Mondays also at 7.30 called Moving On. And Moving On is for anybody who um, is uh, has perhaps been a Christian for a little while or, or feels like they've got a good grasp of the basics but they, they want to grow more to learn about how they can move on in their faith as a Christian. So if that's you and you'd like to come along to that it is on Mondays at 7.30 p.m. If you'd like to come along to either, either of these groups you're very very welcome. Please let us know if you do so we can give you more details about the venue and everything. Um, you can get in contact through us. Best way is through um, our website stgeorgeseverton.com uh, or via email church at stgeorgeseverton.com or you can contact us also through Facebook and Twitter. Okay, well, let's head over now to our service today. Hi everyone, welcome to St George's Everton Online. It's great to have you with us once again as we worship God and explore more about him through the Bible today. So let's begin by welcoming God to be with us wherever we are right now. Let's open our hearts, open our minds to his Holy Spirit as we come into his presence. Hear the words of Psalm 148. Alleluia. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all his host. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you stars of light. Praise him, heaven of heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For he commanded, and they were created. He made them fast for ever and ever. He gave them a law which shall not pass away. Well, let's praise him, all of us now, with this song. Praise 
So today we're going to continue looking at encounters that people had with the risen Jesus, Jesus after he was raised from the dead. Last week we looked at Thomas and today we have Peter. Peter who was one of Jesus's closest friends who who walked with Jesus through his mission and his work uh, but who at The hour that Jesus needed him most, let him down, betrayed him, denied that he even knew who he was. And when Jesus was raised, he came to speak to Peter once again. So let's, uh, we're going to explore that now. So let's watch. Let me tell you about Peter. The night before Jesus died, a group of girls and guys gathered under the Jerusalem skies to try and summarise the events of the previous day. See, Jesus had just been taken away and while most had fled, Peter decided to stay, trying to find a way to enter the fray to save his saviour from this Roman power play. But as he sits down by the fire to warm his hands and feet, a person starts staring and then begins to speak. Hey, isn't he one of them? One of those weirdos causing havoc in Jerusalem? All of a sudden, Peter's got a dilemma. How does he escape this malicious agenda? He does the obvious thing. His fingers start fidgeting and the rocks on the ground become particularly interesting as he says, no, I don't know that guy. I'm just here for the fishing. Okay, it's not the best lie, but interest seems to die and the group moves on. That is until someone else comes along and says, weren't you with those guys before? Peter's like, nope, 
You must have me confused. I'm just your regular, everyday, ordinary Jew, and if I'm honest, I'm kind of tired of being accused, so if you excuse me, I'm gonna sit somewhere else. But before Peter could feel too pleased with himself, a third person comes along with serious intent. You were definitely with him, 100%. You've got the same accent, who else could you be? So Pete gets mad, says, now listen to me. I've never even heard of Galilee and so the reality is you're the suspicious one, not me. Suddenly, Pete remembers the prophecy that he would deny Jesus three times in what was quite possibly the worst moment of his life. But hey, don't worry, there's a bit more to come. Three days after he dies, God's only begotten son defeats death and shows the world that he's the one they've been waiting for. But when Pete joins him by the fire, he isn't really sure if he's gonna be accepted. Yes, Jesus is forgiving, but Pete feels disconnected. And so as he approached Jesus, he probably expected some kind of divine retribution. Instead, he received a divine resolution as the pollution between the two was burned away. And that same story plays out today. As millions seek to find a way back to Christ after going astray, imagining there's no way to close the space, when all he wants to do is show you his grace, to invite you to take a seat, to warm your cold feet, and to be restored in love, just like he did with Pete. So let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for your kindness. We thank you that you choose broken people. You choose far from perfect people. You choose people with skeletons in their closet. People who make mistakes and are fearful. But you write over those mistakes with a new story. meet us in our failures and turn them into something different something that has a purpose in your kingdom you wash over our sins and raise us to new life so wherever you are right now Speak to Jesus. Maybe there are parts of your life where you'd like Jesus to start a new story for you. And so we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Well, we finish today with this final song. Thank you for joining us.
Just.